Good morning, it's Amber, your superhero stylist. Today is August 4th, and I will be reviewing Gotham City Sirens issue number two. But first, I've got a couple of quick announcements for you. The show's expanding, and um, occasionally there are features of, uh, that I do for Comic Hero News, so go over and check out that website. And also, you'll be able to watch these videos very shortly at Geek Syndicate and at the Cryptographic site, which is, a, I'll put the links up for that. And now for this Thursday, which is August 6th, you'll be able to hear me live at 10 p.m. as a guest on the Loud Idiots program at hearnewbrunswick.com, which uh, will be archived and later you can download. So now getting on to the review. Gotham City Sirens, it's a strong book. This is not a chick book, I promise you that. It's written by oh, one of the men I worship, Paul Dini, so you know it's going to be good. We left off with Poison Ivy and Harley being really, really suspicious of Catwoman. They really want to know if she knows the identity of Batman. So the interrogation scene is actually really interesting there. Um, I'm not going to spoil that completely, but yeah, there will be some spoilers as far as the rest of the issue goes. Um, now these girls clearly have trust issues. They've been through a lot. Selina does seem the most grounded, kind of the most, the most human of, amongst the three of them. And, um, you know, she's just been tortured. She's not quite back to her old self. She had to give her daughter up. So, the, you know, Selena's been through a lot. And now Thomas Elliot is the man who tortured her, is running around Gotham City pretending to be the man she loved, Bruce Wayne. And, of course, this is known only to a select few that it's a fake Bruce. And to make matters worse, Thomas Elliot is spending the entire Wayne fortune uh, since Selena stole his family's entire fortune and shared it with her friends. Now, um, of course, uh, some people do know this. They know that uh, it's an impersonator, but uh, they're kind of going along with the secret because with Batman being dead, um, there's they have not announced, hey, there's Bruce Wayne died, we're going to have a big memorial or anything like that. So the, the timing is really, really interesting that... Um, Tom Elliott should be out pretending to be Bruce Wayne right now. And when Harley then witnesses Thomas Elliott, the Bruce Wayne, being kidnapped, she goes and tries to rescue him, and she kicks some ass. It's a really great action sequence with Harley taking on these uh, thugs. And, um, you know, she's grateful to Bruce since he stood up for her at her parole hearing. Um, Little does she know that her new bestest guy pal is really the deranged psychopath Thomas Elliot, who's actually going to be getting at Selena through her. So the series promises to be full of action, a, a lot of um, just personality moments that come through with these characters. I have complete faith in Paul Dini. So it, again, it's not a chick book, I, and you really should be picking this up. It's only up to issue two, so you don't have too far to go back into the back issue bins to get it. So once again, don't forget to check out Comic Hero News, Cryptographic, Geek Syndicate, and LoudIdiots.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe before you log out.